Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lexi and today we had a whole bunch of good stuff to look at. I am doing a video about my favorite small shops currently and actually these are some of my favorite small shops. There might be some of my favorite small shops that are not featured in this video but these are recent things that I have purchased and I love. Admittedly, there are some favorite small shops that are are not <laughs> featured in here, but I have a lot of stuff to show you. I love the all the small shops that we have in our diamond painting community. There's so many talented people that deserve a little bit of a spotlight. I love shopping small. I love supporting creators. We have some really talented people, and I just kind of want to show them off and show you things that I'm using currently and that I'm loving and I will of course link everybody down below uh, so you can go and check them out. Also if you're new to diamond painting this might give you a little bit of an idea of what some of these things are used for and why you might want to purchase some of these things. So here we go. Let's talk about my favorite thing first which is diamond painting pens which I have in the middle here. If you're new to diamond painting, you might be asking, why do I need to buy a diamond painting pen? All of the kits come with a pink pen, and that's true. All of, the, all of the kits come with everything that you need to diamond paint. They all come with one of those pink pens, or sometimes maybe it's a clear pen or a different color pen, but they all come with a pen, they all come with wax, they all come with a tray, and that's all you need, and that is perfectly fine. However, I find that the pink pens that come with the kits are too skinny for my fingers and they just tend to hurt my fingers. I don't know if I have a little bit of early onset arthritis or maybe I've got a little bit of carpal tunnel from I type all day at work. I don't know if that's what it is, but the, the skinny pens really hurt my fingers. And so I need something that is a little bit chunky. It really helps to have something that is ergonomic, it's smooth, and the way that it my fingers are placed on it, it really helps. There are lots of different pens that you can get that are thicker than the ones that come in the kits. There are lots of budget-friendly pens that you can get anywhere from $2 to $10. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them on AliExpress, you can get them on Timu. And I have those. I have those pens too. But these pens that I'm showing you today are hand turned pens from small shops. So they are handmade. They are not mass produced. They Each one of them is custom made by a person who pours. Um, they're usually made out of resin, I think. They pour the materials into a mold to make a blank. And then they turn the pen on a lathe and carve out the shape and then they sand it and polish it and make it pretty. And so you can get a lot of cool designs and colors and inclusions in the pens and they look really pretty. So that appeals to the side of me that likes to shop and collect things <laughs> because I like to accessorize and collect unique things. And so that's why I have so many different pens. It is not necessary for diamond painting. It's just something I like to do. So um, I'll show you a couple of my favorite pen shops. So this first pen is from a shop called C'est Plus Beau à Tour. And they are a French shop. So C'est Plus Beau à Tour means her, her finest attire. I looked that up on Google Translate. I'm probably not pronouncing it in the best way. Uh, just a fun fact, I failed French class <laughs> when I was a senior, and I had to take choir instead, so not the most reliable person to pronounce things correctly, but yes, that is their shop, and I will link them down below. It is an absolutely beautiful rainbow pen. I purchased this specifically for Pride Month, but it's an absolutely gorgeous rainbow pen. I love how the stripes are just perfect and the carving of it is uh, just so sleek and pretty. 
It is lightweight. It is a chunkier pen though, and it is very comfortable. So in order to purchase from them, I believe they do have an Etsy shop and I have purchased another pen from them before, but they also have a website and a Facebook page. And a lot of times they post their pens on Facebook and you put in, it's not a bid, but you put in your name saying that you want to purchase a pen and then they randomly pick a person um, and then if you get picked, then you have the option to buy it. I think they do it that way because it gives everybody an equal chance to get the pen before it sells out, if that makes sense. Because a lot of times, pens sell out really quickly. Um, for example, I have not been able to buy a pen from Lazy River yet because usually they sell out <laughs> before I get to. A lot of times, um, Butterfly Effect Wears, which I will show you in a moment, they sell out before I get a chance to purchase. Um, so that does happen a lot of times with the pen shops. And so I think maybe that's why they do it that way, so that everybody gets a chance, an even chance to potentially buy the pen. So I will link them down below. Very beautiful pen. Uh, okay, let's move on. These next two are from my little sweetheart shop that I love <laughs> so much. Peachy Keen Pens. Um, they have just been my favorite lately. Very unique pens. They do stuff with their pens that you don't really see other people doing. I don't quite know how to describe it, but they just have cool designs. They have cool blanks. They do really neat, funky things with the way they carve. So this is my most recent purchase, and if you, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but so at each end it's got this blue and sort of milky pearl swirly thing going on, but then inside the middle of the pen is actually some other blanks that were cut up and then put inside the pen as inclusions. So it's very funky, lots of different designs and colors in there. It's super cool. So I really like that one. This next one is super duper cute. This one is a sea turtle pen. So down here there's sort of this sand and glitter look and then we have these little turtle glitter things like swimming up through the pen with some swirls of blue and white and then it also has what they call a captive ring on here. So when they were carving it, they left a part of the blank as this ring that moves around. So it's pretty cool. It's a really neat design. And I just love the cute little turtles in there. Really beautiful, really comfortable to hold. And I just love the unique design that they do. They don't always... Um, turn their pens symmetrically and so like what I mean by that is um on this end it's a very different design than this end and so I think it just makes for a very unique and cool looking pen okay next this one is a new to me shop I have not purchased from them before this is from Swamp Wood Designs and I had been seeing them on Instagram, and I absolutely loved all of their pens. I was like, I gotta get one. Well, every time I went to their website, they were sold out. <laughs> and then one morning, I saw them post that they had some for sale, and I went and looked, and this one was on there, and I was like, that pen was meant for me, because this is one of my favorite colors. I love when it has the rhinestones fixed on the outside like this and the glitter in here is just perfect so I felt like this one was was meant to be <laughs> it is a very comfortable to hold it is very lightweight it's the right thickness for me I just love it it's very beautiful so I will link swamp wood down below yeah, it's so nice and smooth. I love how smooth this one is. Very beautiful pen. Next up is Butterfly Effect Wears. And 
I what I really like about butterfly effect wares is they do a lot of these mini pens or um, shorter pens and I really appreciate that because sometimes I just like to have a short pen they are, are of course more lightweight they're easier to handle and flip around if you're wanting to uh, use a single placer and then a multi placer on the other end so they're very convenient for that but they're still thick and that's what I really like about them this one was called Ethereal Butterfly, and I don't know if you can tell, but they have butter... Oh yeah, you can see. They have butterfly confetti at the end here, and then this really beautiful swirl of green and blue and pink, and it's very pearly and shimmery. They have absolutely beautiful designs, and what's cool about butterfly effect wares is... Typically, each week, they pick a theme, and so all of their blanks will be that week's theme, and so it'll be typically the same colors, but then they will uh, do different sizes. So they will actually have bigger um, pens. Let me show you, actually. Here's an example. This is the same um, colorway. This was also the Ethereal Butterfly, but a bigger pen. You can see there, for example, there's like a regular size pen and then a mini pen. So they'll do different designs in different sizes, but in the same colorway. So that is really cool. And then the other thing that they do that is cool is they also make putty that matches that week's design. So I bought the Ethereal Butterfly Pen, and then I also bought the Ethereal Butterfly Dot Dot Putty, which goes in the pen, and I'll just open it up and show you. So it is scented, but it is also um, fancy because they put some color in it that matches the pen as well. So that is really pretty. I haven't used that one yet, but it is really, really pretty. And I bought some other ones from them. This one is Rainbow Sherbert, and this one is Meant to Be. And I have used both of these. The putty works really great, and it smells great. So here you can see I've taken a chunk out of that one. <laughs> and it works really good. So you might be asking, if you're new to diamond painting, what, what is the putty? What's the deal with the putty? Don't you just use the pink wax that comes in the kit? And yes, you can definitely use just the pink wax that comes in the kit. Some people like to use the putty for a few different reasons. Um, I like it because it makes the popping noise, for one. <laughs> and I find that very satisfying. I also like to use the putty because it lasts a lot longer in your pen compared to the pink wax that comes with the kits. So you don't have to change it as much. And I think that's the big pro for using the putty. Um, it does, doesn't come off on the drills, it stays in your pen, um, you don't have a lot of the difficulties with putty, um, and it's fun to get the scented ones, because it's just a cute little thing to, I don't know, it's just fun to have the scented ones, so. So these putties are from, uh, Butterfly Effect Wears. I have some more putties up here that I will talk about in just a minute, but I want to talk about this last pen real quick. This last pen is from Norse Alchemist. I believe they are located in Norway, but I'll double check on that. I should have checked before I started recording. If I'm wrong, I will um, put a correction in. <laughs> and um, I ordered this on Etsy. It is so gorgeous and so, I don't know, it's like so elegant and uh, classic. I just love it. So. It's um, a hybrid pen. It's got resin in the middle and then wood on either end. It's just so fancy. And inside the resin, you can see there's these beautiful flowers. One of my favorite, favorite pens. So this is by Norse Alchemist. Now, it's funny because I actually just got a message from Norse Alchemist yesterday so they were on Etsy, but they sent a message yesterday that they actually have started their own website, norsealchemist.com. I will link that down below. 
And it looks like they also have a Facebook group. So I will link both of those things down below in case you want to check them out. Definitely, I would recommend checking them out. Um, absolutely beautiful pens and nice customer service, fast shipping. It's just a beautiful pen. It is a joy to hold. It is so smooth. Just really nice to hold. Very lightweight as well. I think this is the first hybrid pen I ever bought with the wood and the resin, and it's it's really, really nice. So yes, I love that one as well. So that does it for diamond painting pens. Let's put all of these back on here. <laughs> so yes, diamond painting pens, probably my favorite accessory to collect. <laughs> I don't think they're all going to fit on there now. Okay. So let's move on to some of the putties and waxes that I have here. This next set of putty is from my friend Bree's shop. Her shop is called Painting with Pitties, and you can find her. Whoa. <laughs> you can find her at paintingwithpitties.com. She actually makes a few different things. She has... Um, putty. She's got cover minders and I think she's going to start doing some pens soon. I hope I'm not talking out of turn <laughs> when I say that. Here's an example of one of her cover minders. So a cover minder, if you're new to diamond painting and you haven't seen these yet, it is a nice charm, typically, um, that has two magnets on the back. And you can use this to hold back, you know, it goes on either side of that plastic that's on top of your diamond painting to hold the plastic sheet back so it's not flopping back down over onto your glue. It keeps it out of the way while you're working on your canvas. And then when you're done, you just take it off and put your plastic sheet back down to protect your glue. So that's just one of the ones she has made. She has a lot of different things in her shop though. And then of course she has the putty. She has so many delicious smelling flavors. Um, so here's just a few of them. Um, strawberry shortcake, candy shop, Fruit Loops. And then there was also a banana pudding one that I bought. These were the first ones that I got from her. They all smell amazing. The candy shop one is so good. It smells like either nerds or runts, like very fruity candy. Fruit Loops. Oh, sorry. Fruity Loops. <laughs> Smells like Saturday morning as a kid. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake is amazing as well. The next round that I got includes Summer Scoops, which is amazing. This is like strawberry ice cream. Tropical Vacation. Smells like you're at the beach. Lemon Tart. This is one of my favorites. Smells beautiful. And then this one is Diamonds and Diversity smells like skittles so let me open one of these up and i will just show you what they look like too because they're really really cute so because brie is painting with pitties painting with her pit bulls she has a really cute theme to her shop look at this oh it's a little paw print how cute is that it's so cute, and she puts really cute glitter in there, too, and it might be kind of hard to pick up on the camera. Oh, my God. This smells amazing. It smells like an amazing pina colada. It smells like you're sitting on the beach. It's wonderful. So I'll definitely link Brie down below. I also have a special code that you can use on Brie's website to save you a little bit of money as well, and I will have that in the description down below. So definitely check her out. Her putty is great. Um, like I said before, it lasts longer. It makes that popping noise. And it smells great. <laughs> and it won't come off all over your drills. <laughs> so moving on to a few more things that you can use instead of the pink wax. These are a few products that have been around for a long time, but they're new to me. I just recently started trying them. And I love them. <laughs> so um, I've been using um, this um, patty wax 
I've been using this for APs. This is a new to me product, but I know it's been around for a long time and people really love it. So what this is, is this is a wax that you can put in your pen and use it. It's especially helpful for ABs. It doesn't pull the coating off of the ABs. It doesn't get stuck all over the place. And um, it also smells really good. <laughs> so this one is Japanese Cherry Blossom. Now this smells exactly like the Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom that they used to carry. I think it's discontinued now. But this smells exactly like that um, body spray and lotion that they used to have. And so I absolutely love it. There's a couple ways you can use this. You can take it out of the bag. And you can scrape your pen across the top to uh, load up your pen. What I like to do, though, is I take a clay cutter and I cut a thin piece off the end and then I take my pen and I just push my pen into it like that and pull some off and I do the same with my multi-placer I just push my multi-placer down in there kind of wiggle it around and then ta-da you've got wax in your multi-placer so that's what I do with that one so I've been using that one and I've been liking it as you can see, you only use a little bit of at a time. And so a block of this lasts a long time. They have all different kinds of scents. And so that's part of the fun is like you can uh, collect the different scented types. And they do have an unscented type if you're not into the whole scented thing. Um, they also have one that is called a super sticky wax. And, oh, let me get this open. The Super Sticky Wax comes in a container, and it's not hard like this one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm fumbling because of my nails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. So, it comes in lots of different types of containers. You don't have to get the same container that I did, but I thought this little donut one was so cute. It's unscented. And it's a little bit hard to see because it is clear in here, but there is wax in here. <laughs> and same thing, you just scrape your pen across the top and then you have wax in there. So this is the super sticky kind. Um, so it's a little bit squishier and stickier than this hard block kind. So yeah, I've been using those for my ABs and I like them a lot. The other thing that I've been using for ABs, because I guess I should... I should have mentioned that um, I've been on this quest to find the best thing to use for ABs because ABs have been driving me crazy <laughs> lately. Um, if you're new to diamond painting, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and they are the special coated diamonds that have that sort of ir not iridescent, but um, it's an it's an AB coating. They just shine a little bit differently. Um, do I have any up here? Let's see. Compared to the other drills, they shine a little bit differently. So they have a different coating on them. And they're a little bit challenging sometimes. Here's some. Here's some pink AB crystals. See how they've got that, I guess it's sort of iridescent coating on them. So yeah, I've been having trouble with them. So I've been like on a mission to find the best thing to use <laughs> for them. Um, so the other thing I've been using is these pretty placers. I will link their shop down below as well. They, I got these on Etsy. Same with um, the Patty Wax. They're on Etsy. These smell amazing. And look how cute they are. They are like a crayon. <laughs> and it says right there, diamond painting crayon. And there's really not much that you have to do with this. You just open the box, take it out and pick up a drill and then put it on your canvas and you can sharpen it with a pencil sharpener once it starts to get dull on the end now i'm a hard presser so when you get this they'll give you instructions and they tell you not to press hard because you'll uh just push in the tip so you have to press lightly with these so i struggle a little bit because i i have to tell myself to press lightly but i really like using them they come in handy they do work well with ABs. 
you just have to press lightly. <laughs> so this one is pink Moscato, or I'm sorry, bubbly Moscato pink, and it smells really good. This one was um, Blackberry Preserves. It's not in the box because I have it out in my living room. I'm using it currently on my current whip. And then this one actually is my favorite in terms of scent. This one is a Midori scent. And it's this really pretty green Midori uh, Sour Cocktail. It smells so good. So yeah, so I got a few, and you can see I've already pushed down on that one and kind of flattened it a little bit. <laughs> but yes, they can be sharpened. And uh, yeah, I've been enjoying those. So I've got one more diamond painting related thing and then a couple of little things over here that are not quite diamond painting related, but they are by somebody in our diamond painting community. So this next item is a diamond painting tray. It is from Cat Proof Diamond Painting Trays. Um, I absolutely love their trays. So they are 3D printed trays. And again, if you're new to diamond painting, um, you know, there's lots of different trays out there. There are ones that come with the kits that are perfectly fine to use. You can find some on Amazon. You can find some on AliExpress and Timu and things like that. What I really, really love about cat proof is they are cat proof and dog proof. <laughs> so I'm pushing down on here because they come with this lid that is, it's kind of flexible like kind of like a Tupperware lid and it pops down on there. So if you were to like chuck this across the room or your cat knocks it down, your dog knocks it down, it's going to land on the floor and your drills are not going to fall out. I love that because nine times out of 10 in the evening while I am diamond painting, it hits 8 p.m. We go to bed at eight typically. <laughs> it hits 8 p.m. My husband's like, let's go to bed. And I am like halfway through a color. I don't want to pour them back into the container. I want to leave them out for when I resume diamond painting the next day. So I just pop this cover on so that they are safe when they're sitting there on the table. And I know that if it gets knocked down, they're not going to go everywhere. So I really love that. The other benefit of this tray, though, is the way that it's designed. On the inside, the drills line up very, very nicely. I'm not a perfect shaker. I don't sit here and shake forever and ever, but I feel like the drills on these line up good. And uh, it's also sparkly. Look at that. I like glitter in there. There's a pour spout here, so when you're done, you just knock them all to the end, and then you can pour them back into your container. So I've been loving that. I forget exactly what size this is. The sizes have different names, but um, my friend Bree bought this one for me, so I don't remember exactly what size it is, but I will link their shop below. Okay, last item that we have here. I have these beautiful bracelets from Bev B Beads, and I will link her shop. She has an independent standalone website where she sells her bracelets. They are absolutely gorgeous. These are handmade by Bev. Um, Bev has a, a YouTube channel as well. She has the best personality. She's so funny. And she's just a sweet person. And she's talented. And she just, these bracelets are beautiful. I have my hair caught in one of them. Excuse me. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous. And so when I went to her website, the first one that caught my eye was like this mermaid color one. So it is pink and purple. And what I love about this one, and actually these two, is that Bev has put these bead caps in between each set of beads. And I just think it, it really makes it. It really makes the bracelet. So instead of it just being a string of beads, it's got these beautiful silver bead caps. You know, it's like that attention to detail that I think really makes these special. So um, this was sort of like a mermaidy one with the purple and pink. 
They fit nicely. They are on stretchy cords, so you can get them over your hand. And then they fit very nicely. They're stackable, so you can wear them together or you can wear just one. This next one, I can't remember what kind of... Um, what kind this is called, what kind of bead this is called, but you can see it's like purple and clear and it's got like these purple veins that go through it. So it's really, really pretty. I just love the bead caps on there. And then this one I, I just had to have because um, it's a beautiful pink color, but look at that owl. That owl bead is so cute. And look at on the back, he's got these cute little feathers painted on him. He is so cute. So I just love all of those. They're very well made. They're just fantastic. And I love the way they sound <laughs> on your wrist. They're so cute. So I absolutely love those. I will link Bev's shop down below so that you can check her out as well. So that does it for my little small shop um, haul. Please check out the very talented people that we have in our community. I appreciate you watching my video. If you wouldn't mind, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.